what is going on guys welcome back to another video and yes i am cheating i bought plants already in tissue quarter and i know you are probably disappointed at one point i say i uh, will uh, start buying more plants and introducing to tissue quarter myself uh, but here me out there is a reason why i purchased plants already in tissue quarter number one uh, there are many people already uh, buying plants in tissue quarter and i don't want to say it's not legit or it's cheating I just want to see if it's worth it. Um, the plants that I bought are, were not cheap. Uh, each flask uh, was between $150 to $200. However, um, each flask has at least 10 plants. So one plant is about $15 to $20. So I would say that it's worth it, especially if you consider the tremendous amount of time that you are saving. Let's say if I buy a plant, uh, not in tissue quarter, first of all, uh, it's, going to take, uh, it's going to cost me uh, a lot more money. Uh, some of these philodendrons are very expensive. Uh, second, the plant will take months to grow to a size that I feel comfortable um, taking eggplants from. And lastly, if it doesn't work, I will have to start all. I will have to start all over again, uh, which means uh, I will have to wait a few more months uh, to take more eggplants. Mm -hmm. Now, I know you still would like to see the entire process, and I will do it. Uh, whenever I get enough plants established in tissue culture, I will deflat some plants, acclimate them, uh, grow on uh, soil, and as soon as they get to a decent size, I will reintroduce them to tissue culture. I will show you the sterilization process and the establishment of the plant in tissue culture. In the meantime, I'm moving the plants to new flasks uh, with new multiplication media. Uh, let me tell you the media I'm using. It is uh, full MS medium with 25 grams of sucrose, 5 5 milliliters per liter of BA, 0 0.5 milliliters per liter of NAA, 1 milliliter per liter of PPM, and 3 grams of gel and gum. Um, let me make a disclaimer. I'm also using the biocouplers. However, I'm not using the same media for the biocouplers. The difference is on the plant growth regulators. Uh, the biocouplers only have um, 1 milliliter per liter of BA, and 0 0.1 milliliters per liter of NAA. A no gelling agent, of course, uh, the biocouplers use a liquid media. The reason is that I already had media made for the biocouplers, and when I made the media for the daily containers, I just decided to use a higher dose uh, of plant growth regulators. I will experiment uh, with a higher dose of uh, PGRs uh, for the biocouplers in the future. So those are the advantages of buying plants already in tissue culture. Save money and time, especially time. Somebody is already doing the hard job for you for $150 to $200. And I think it's money well spent. As an estimate, I think you are saving uh, six months to a year of work. Um, you probably only have one explant on hand. And to go from one explant to 10 plantless in tissue culture, um, if you do it right uh, on the first time, uh, that takes a few months. Uh, and we we all know the tissue culture is not easy. The sterilization process is extremely difficult. Like most people watching the channel, it is perfectly okay to start practicing with plants uh, growing in tissue culture. There is no shame. Uh, it is no cheating. The reward is not the same. Um, there is always something extraordinary uh, whenever you do the entire process yourself uh, and it works. Uh, whatever there is also a lot of frustration if it doesn't. To make it clear, I do not recommend starting with a $200 philodendron. There are a lot of cheaper options. Aquatic plants are the perfect example. You can find them for $10 to $20 per flat. If you move them to new media and if they don't get contaminated, that is fantastic. However, if they do, don't get discouraged. A lot of the plants you purchase online and get shipped to you will get some contamination. And now I need to talk about some of the disadvantages of buying plants in tissue culture. The reason a lot of tissue culture plants uh, you purchase online get contaminated is not because the seller opens the container before it ships to you. I'm pretty sure nobody does that. Uh, the problem is the shipping itself, especially if, get the, if they get shipped by air. Uh, as the plane get, gains altitude, the pressure on the cabin decreases. Uh, yes, this also happens on uh, cargo planes. And when the plane descends, uh, the volume of air contracts again. And the pressure difference can cause uh, leakages uh, on the tissue corto flask. Uh, most commercial uh, tissue corto flasks only have the lid on top, but they don't have a, 
a layer of biofilm. And if you think about it, tissue corto plants are not meant to be shipped or moved from one place to another. Every time I move or take plants out of the lab for a like conference, I take the risk of contamination. Now, I know there are a lot of sellers that have mastered the shipping process, and that's great forever. Be careful. Uh, only buy plants from reputable sellers. Uh, many of these plants are very expensive, and you can easily get scammed. Many uh, plants in tissue culture do not show the exact characteristics as the mother plants. And the flask can easily get a mislabel, and this can be by mistake or on purpose. I'm not ready to make a full review of the plants I just bought. The majority of the plants do show some variegation, uh, which is the main characteristics of these plants. Uh, however, some plants do not show anything that are just green. Uh, my recommendation when uh, buying plants online uh, is to ask the seller to send you a picture of the actual plants that you are purchasing and do not expect uh, to have variegations on 100% of the, of the plants. For contamination, they look good, but it's too early to tell. I can already tell one of the species will probably get contaminated, and if that's the case, I will make a video on how to do the sterilization process once again. Anyway, that's all for today. Go visit plantcelltechnology.com for all your tissue culture needs, and check our social media. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. If you're enjoying these tissue culture videos, be sure to follow us on social media for more informative content. And if you're interested in conducting your own tissue culture experiments, make sure to check us out at plantcelltechnology.com for all the products you need to get started. Use the code FP10 for 10% off your first purchase.